Hi Libra, this is your reading for April 2020. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're feeling well. All that usual stuff. Um, you know, there's a lot happening right now in the world, but I really hope that you are doing well in general. You know, health is wealth. It's something I have always said. And so, you know, let me know in the comment section below. Of course, if you'd like to, you don't always have to comment if you don't want to. Anyways, we're going to have a look and see what's coming through for you and your twin flame in April 2020. So with that being said, um, you know, if you would also like to win a free reading with me, definitely check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be in the description box below and they are done within 24 to 48 hours. Last thing I want to mention is my intention bracelets are on Etsy. So if you would like to purchase any of these bracelets, these are twin flame bracelets, they will be on my Etsy shop. Link will be in the description box below and um, they are handmade, they're meditated with, they're saged, free international shipping, pretty affordable as well and if you want to see the reviews and see how other people have seen results of them please do check out my Etsy shop, link will be in the description box below and also if you'd like to become a Patreon, information is always in the description box below as well but thank you so much to my Patreons um, for all of the love and support and in general to everyone who has supported me. Um, it's absolutely amazing that I have 160,000 subscribers. It's, it's just amazing. So thank you so much for all of your love and support and uh, let's get started. All right, so Libra, let's see what's coming through in April. No retrogrades, thankfully. Although, you know, we have had a retrograde in March. We've got some retrogrades. We've actually got three starting in May. So let's enjoy April retrograde free as much as possible. I know that a lot of people are spending time at home and uh, doing things at home, maybe not necessarily going out, but you know, sometimes it's, it's good for us to spend time with our own energy and to give ourselves that energy. So I think that it's good sometimes to think about things in a bit more of a positive aspect as well. I know it's not the most ideal situation for a lot of people in the world to be self-isolating and staying at home and, you know, not perhaps being able to go out as much. But sometimes, you know, it is something that we we need in life. But um, yeah, it's not the most ideal situation. But see, this is how Tarot connects to the situation. This Four of Swords card is exactly that. It's an isolating energy. It's an energy where you're spending more time in your own energy, right? So things like resting, retreating, perhaps meditating, doing things for yourself. The Four of Swords shows rest, okay? And what I want to say, I know that this is a twin flame connection. We will get onto that in just a second, but the guides are saying, please rest, please take care of yourself. Give yourself that goodness in energy because you truly deserve it, okay? So that is the Four of Swords. And what I'm also seeing is that on the flip side, your twin is also really taking a good amount of energy in the sense that they are looking out for themselves, they're doing things for themselves, and also they're thinking a lot about you during this time. It's very common when people are spending time in their own energy and away from, you know, distractions and a bunch of people and a bunch of things and constantly doing things that we start to really reflect on our own life. We start to think about what we have going on around us and how we feel and what we have. And I think that this is going to trigger your twin flame to think so much more about you and the connection and everything surrounding that, all right? They're not gonna be able to escape these emotions. So maybe if they have been running away and trying to not acknowledge things, guess what's happening? It's happening, acknowledgement. King of Wands, acknowledgement understanding this is also really about pursuing as well so what I feel is going to happen is a period where they are just taking time to absorb all of this energy understand reflect upon it dissect all of the energy as well so that they can really get a good sort of analysis on it and then the king of wands shows them taking action towards things so I really feel like your twin here is going to come forward with some form of either communication or they are just going to really be quite open and expressive about certain things. And this can be through a phone call or some kind of messaging that I'm seeing. For some of you, I know that a lot of people are spending time, obviously, at home. It's very much so possible that, you know, for those of you twins that are living together, or live very, very close to one another, you may end up meeting, but it's just for a tiny portion of twins. 
because a huge portion of the population is, is you know, going to be spending time away from people, right? So it's just a small portion, but I have to say that. But some of you might be like, um, Moonlight, nobody is literally, you know, doing that and being around people. I understand that, but there's a lot of countries in this world and not every single country is doing the exact same thing. So I just want you guys to sort of know that I am seeing a, a little portion of twins um, that could actually be very much so having, you know, face-to-face -face, um, interactions if they don't live together or they're not, you know, around each other. So that's just what I'm seeing. Obviously, if you live with your twin, then it's a different situation, right? Because you're going to see them. This is specifically um, what I'm seeing is that if you are not really around your twin, then it can be, you know, through messaging or phone calls specifically. But look at that, six of cups, right? They're coming forward in some way, shape or form. They want to express things. They also, I feel very much so, they want to give you something, which I think is really interesting. Now, the giving part of it can be delayed until everything sort of calms down with the health situation we have going on. But the Six of Cups here really does showcase a sense of wanting to give you something. Now, this could actually be communication, but for some of you, it could be a gift. Something that they have really thought about giving you. Moon shows extreme feelings towards you. Trust me, this is about deep-rooted emotional feelings that they have towards you, which they have within themselves, which can also be expressed because you have got the Cup card there, okay, which can also signify emotions being expressed and released. So the Moon here is showing their emotions towards you, which they've sort of hidden strength card they're becoming stronger but also you're becoming stronger do not underestimate your strength okay so that's what the strength card here is showing also page of pentacles they want to give you something they want to give you something they also want to tell you something and the six of pentacles is to me it you know in the minor arcanas it totally reminds me of the libra energy i know we have the justice card which has got the scales on it which is the libra card but when i think of the minor arcanas i think of the six of pentacles as the you know as one of those libra cards as like the justice in the form of the minor arcanas just because you've got the scales there and it's this beautiful balanced energy so again they really want to give to you they want they want things to become much more balanced they're becoming much more stable and secure in their own energy through a lot of this reflection which they've done within themselves and not necessarily being distracted by other people and other people's thoughts and other people's examples and ideas. You know how sometimes we'll go to other people and ask them for advice and we can get totally swayed off into a completely different direction because we'll just maybe listen to other people. Guess what? They're not getting swayed. Why? Because they're spending more time in their own energy. Okay, so they're becoming stronger in their own energy and taming those fears, which is just so... I knew that was going to happen. It fell on the floor. Um... But that's what we're seeing. Look at that, Knight of Cups. They're coming forward. They're coming forward. They're going to express something. Again, I think emotions are also going to be expressed. And there seems to be something about a gift as well. Because Wheel of Fortune is ruled by Jupiter. So it's about abundance and, again, a gift. But it also shows things getting better in time, right? Things just getting better. So the wheel turns. Abundance arrives. Look at that. They're working hard to prove... To prove things to you, working hard to keep up the consistency. They know they need to be consistent around you and that's what they're going to work to do in April. Also, um, Page of Cups shows things manifesting. So you've got a fish in that cup, which shows that their feelings towards you are getting stronger, manifesting. And there's also this flirtatious energy that I pick up with the Page of Cups. I'm just bending down to pick up, ah, oh, there's two cards, oops. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Wands. lots of communication and flowing communication in a good direction. There you go, communication, two communication cards. So Eight of Wands shows really strong communication and the Ace of Swords here shows honesty, truth and loyalty. So again, it's also tied to their emotions and how honest they are going to be in regards to how they feel about you in terms of emotions. One thing I do want to say is let them come towards you. Let them prove things to you and make their way to you. You know, you do your thing let this person come to you and express things. That's what I would say, Libra, right? So this is your reading, Libra, for Twin Flame, April 2020. Hopefully it gave you lots of knowledge and clarity. And if you found this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, bracelets, which are on Etsy, Patreon, all that good stuff. And I hope that you have a lovely day or night wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And do take care. Bye, Libra.